Today I am going to share my one year Retin A update. One year. I can't believe it. I am going to insert some before and after photos of me um, and my progressiveness of my Retin A journey. Before we get started, please make sure you click that button below or even on my video here, you see that little watermark. Just click on that where it says subscribe. I share new videos every single week. Also make sure to click on that notification bell too. And always make sure you share my videos. Give me a thumbs up, helps my channel. And I am very, 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 very thankful for that when you do that, okay? Let's get into it. About a year ago, I decided to start using Retin-A. The reason that I started using Retin-A had nothing to do with anti-aging. I have sebaceous hyperplasia, which are little bumps that you get. They're actually pores that get clogged up with oil. They get really hard, then they get larger. They look like little cauliflowers, I guess. That's what some people say, and they're really ugly and there really isn't any cure for it. Sometimes Retin-A using that can shrink them a little bit, and that is why I started using it. I started off using a 0.05%. I still have my tube here, and I actually have a tiny bit left of this. So I was using this every, well, when I first started, I didn't use it every day. I used it, I think I started out using it once a week and then after a couple weeks I did twice a week. I kind of like worked my way up gradually until I was using this every day. And once I ran out of this, I wanted to go up a little bit more. So now I'm using a 0.1% and I only use this once a week. I tried doing this a couple times a week and I just cannot do it because my skin turns over so much that it just I just look like a peely mess. Right now I'm only using this once a week. I might try going to twice a week. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if my skin can handle it. Just like with this one, I use only a pea size amount, that's it. And I just dab it on my nose, cheek, cheek, chin, there, and then I rub it all in. And I always make sure, and this is not how you're supposed to use it, this is how I use it. I always, after I apply it to my face, I also make sure I get it under my eye and I also get it right here, like right, right underneath my, my eyebrow, just right there. I did a six month update with you guys. If I remember, I will link it above there and below. Um, it, it was unbelievable when I saw the difference because my eyes actually looked lifted. My eyes look lifted. I was, I couldn't even believe it. Now, I've heard so many people say, or I've, not so many, but I've heard some people say that's not true. Your eyes, your face can't, your skin can't get lifted by using Retin-A. I'm just here to tell you it's happened for me. It's happened to Monica. It's happened to Angie at Hot and Flashy. I think it's even, uh, happened to, oh gosh, uh, Mary Ellen and uh, Natalie from the Beauty Diva. Okay, so a lot of us are making that claim because we've seen it happen. We all have done the same thing. None of us had, well, Angie's had um, Botox and things, but all the other ladies that I mentioned, none of us had had Botox or anything. Something had to have happened. The only thing I can think of is that your skin gets firmer because you're getting uh, you're exfoliating, your skin is getting firmer and tighter and it's giving that appearance of it. I don't know. All I know is that my skin looks much better than it did before I started using it. My eyes don't look puffy like they did. They look more lifted. I never had really heavy eyes, but I definitely had more or not heavy. I never really had really deep set hooded eyes, but I definitely had some hooded eyes. And I still do slightly, but they're much different. They're much better than before I started using Retin-A. So I know that it's made a difference in my skin. So how I use it right now is like I said, I use it once a week. I use it on Wednesdays. Um, and I'm just following that from Jennifer Jenkins. She said she does the same thing. She only uses hers once a week. And then, you know, then she'll start to shed a couple days later. It's usually on the weekend. It's like, I don't know, that just made sense to me. So I just started doing it on Wednesdays. So I, um, I use this once a week, that's it, at nighttime. I don't do it during the day, use it at nighttime. I, and I also use 
three acids. I use a glycolic, a glycolic acid, I use a, a salicylic acid, and I use a lactic acid. I never, ever, ever, ever use those acids the same time I'm using this. And what I mean by that is when I put this on at nighttime, I don't put those acids on afterwards or before, before or after, I don't. But the morning of the day that I use this, I do use my acids. I just don't do it the same time. You never wanna do that. Um, but the reason that I use the acids is because this is exfoliating, but then it's like I use the acid to get the loose skin off from this basically. But that is what I do. And it has made a huge difference on my skin. Like I said, I just feel like I have more of a glow. Um, as far as my sebaceous hyperplasia, I think it's like shrunk them a little bit. They're still there. Okay, they're still there, but I feel like they don't look as bad as they used to look. I think the biggest difference on me is my eyes. It's just unbelievable how much different it looks on my, my eyes don't look as puffy anymore or hooded. Um, always wear sunscreen if you use this, always, always, always. Now you have to have a prescription with this. You can get it online too, but I just don't want to, I just don't want to recommend that myself because I don't want to be responsible. I just think that if you feel like you need it and you can do it, then I would just go see your doctor and get a prescription for it. And then maybe after that, if it's working out for you, then maybe you can, you know, like get an online pharmacy or something to get it from. But always see your dermatologist first. Now, some people, they cannot handle this. Their skin just can't handle it. I'm surprised. I've never really had a problem other than it being dry. I always thought I had sensitive skin, but maybe I don't have sensitive skin like I thought I used to, like I did. I don't, I don't know. It seemed like I always did before, but, um, but yeah, it's just, I, I think the change is unbelievable. So, and like I said, you, you'll see in the photos that photos don't lie. That's what, that's, that's what happened. I mean, I, like I said, I've never used Botox. I have nothing against it. I keep saying that, but I, I just want you to know that Everything that I share, everything I do on my channel, likes for skincare, and I'm not a skincare expert. I'm just sharing what I do, what I've learned. I've learned so much from the other ladies on YouTube, the mature channels. They've taught me so much. Um, so I'm just sharing with you what I've learned and what I do on my skin. That's it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not an expert, but this has been a game changer for me and I'm not gonna stop using it. I feel like the longer I use it, the better. And that's another thing with Retin-A, you don't just start using it and you're gonna see results. You're not. It's taken me a year. Okay, I would say six months. I'd say a good six months before I started seeing results and now after a year, I feel like, wow. So the longer I use it, the better my skin is going to look. When you use this again, you've got to use sunscreen. I use sunscreen every single day. I never used to. Um, like I would only use the sunscreen when I went out in the sun. Now I use it whether I'm out there or not because I'm sitting in front of a computer screen or in front of this light right here as I'm filming. Um, so I always make sure I wear sunscreen on my face and I even put it on my hands and we're gonna be moving somewhere. We're gonna be moving to Florida where it's gonna be sunny all the time. So sunscreen is just gonna be a part of my life, like head to toe sunscreen all the time, every single day, reapplying it. Um, I'm going to be trying some, some lip balms that have sunscreen. I'm looking into some powders that have, like face powders that have sunscreen in it. Like sunscreen is so important. Even if you have a foundation that has sunscreen, doesn't matter. Put the sunscreen on underneath it. You just need as much protection as possible, especially when you are using this. That is it, guys. I just wanted to update you on this. I think it's amazing if you can, if you can use it. I think it's amazing. My skin changed dramatically. So, and I think that when you look at the pictures, you'll see it's unbelievable how much my skin has changed since using this. I feel like I look younger now than I did a year ago. And I don't think I've ever looked like, I, I mean, people have always told me I look younger, but now that I'm, I've been using this, I feel like I definitely look younger. So anyways, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and informative. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it. It helps my channel so much and I really appreciate it. Um, please leave me a comment below. I always, always, always answer, uh, answer back on my comments. I always reply back. Follow me on Instagram. Again, let me know if you are, you know, if you leave me a comment on Instagram, let me know that you follow me here because um, I, I always like replying back on there as well too. So that is it. 
Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you real soon. Bye.